Hi everyone, my name is Ken Stoltzfus. I'll be teaching the clinical psychology course this fall at LCC International University. I wanted to take just a couple minutes and tell you a little bit about myself and a little bit about the course. Um, so as far as my background, in 2012 and 2013, I taught full-time at LCC. I was chair of the, uh, the social sciences department and taught psychology courses while I was at LCC. Um, after returning to the U.S., I now live in Wichita, Kansas, and I'm the dean at a, at a small private Christian university uh, called Friends University here in Wichita. And I've just been really glad that I've been able to stay involved at LCC. I think this will be my sixth time to return to LCC since I came back to the U.S. at the end of 2013. And primarily, I've been there to teach the clinical psychology course. I also taught psychological assessment one semester, and I also helped to... Uh, co-sponsor and, and participate in the LCC conference in 2017. So uh, I have, have just found uh, ways to stay involved at LCC. It's a place that's really near and dear to my heart. I'm always glad when I have an opportunity to be involved at LCC. I think it's a great university. Um, so I'm glad to be back this fall and have the chance to, to get to know all of you and to work with you. A little bit about the course. The course is primarily online. I kind of think of it as sort of three quarters online and one quarter in person. And so I, I think of the course as sort of being broken into four parts. So the first part of the course um, is the next couple of weeks. So classes at LCC start on the 3rd of September. And from the 3rd until I arrive in person on 17th, I'm really just going to ask you to do some background work to get ready for the course. So I have a number of articles and book chapters for you to read. Those are posted on the course Moodle site. Um, of course, the syllabus is also on the Moodle site, so you can get a, a sense of what the rest of the semester looks like. But really, I'm just going to ask you to do that reading and to get ready for, for the time that we're meeting in person. The other part of that first two weeks is I have two short written assignments. The first written assignment is just a paper on, on helping and what do people need when they need help? What have your experiences of both being a helper and of needing help yourself been like? And this is really a paper, it's fine to give me your opinion, you don't need to cite um, sources, you can if you want to, but it's not required. It's really just a short opinion paper on thinking about helping and especially thinking about what's different between professional helping and non-professional helping. A lot of people who get into psychology, especially the clinical and counseling side, are the kinds of people that, that tell me, oh, people just always want to tell me about their problems, they always want to talk to me. I'm just sort of naturally a helper. And so part of uh, becoming uh, immersed in the profession of psychology, especially the clinical part of it, is to think, okay, what's different between listening to my friend when they need help and the work that a clinical psychologist does? Certainly those two are similar, but I want you to think a little bit about the, you know, what's, what's the same, what's different about that? The other assignment I'm going to ask you to do is to think a little bit about um, um, sort of uh, what people who practice um, who practice clinical psychology or, or other helping related professions, what do they need to take care of themselves? And so I have you writing a paper that I call the self-care paper, which is just really about um, interviewing somebody. And that, that can be, you know, a residence director, a residence hall director at LCC. It can be a teacher. It can be somebody that just works with people on a regular basis and especially helps them in some way, asking them what they do to take care of themselves, to deal with their stress. And then it asks you to look up um, some articles, to read a few articles, uh, and, and to look at what the, uh, the research literature says, literature says about self-care, and then to compare those things. Um, so this is one where you do need to cite some sources, but not a whole lot of sources. Again, just really trying to get you thinking about what, um, you know, what self-care looks like for professionals. So that's part one of the course. Part two is when I'm there in person, and we're going to be really focusing that week. Um, I'll, I'll be in Klaipeda the week of September 17th through the 21st. So I'll be there from Monday through Friday. We're going to meet each evening for two hours per night. Uh, so we'll meet for 10 hours total. And we're just really going to focus on what do clinical psychologists do and how they do it. So what's the process clinical psychologists use to treat people? How can we work effectively with individuals, families, small groups? How do we work effectively with people from cultures that are different than ours? Um, how do we base our, our uh, treatment approaches on the best research evidence available? And we're going to also hopefully have a little bit of time to talk about how faith, how Christian faith ties in with, with clinical psychology practice. Um, because LCC is a Christian university and I'm a Christian, so that's something I just want to take a little bit of time before the end of the class to talk about. 
So I'll be there for a week. After I go back, we'll have a test. One of the other LCC faculty will, will, um, will oversee a test for me. I'll give them the test. They'll give you the test so that we don't have to take our time while I'm there uh, to do that. And then they'll send me the test. I'll grade it and I'll send you the results. So that's part two of the class. Part three is that I have a series of five video lectures about specialized topics in psychology and clinical psychology. So those are things like uh, clinical psychology with children, clinical psychology with older adults, um, just some specialized, uh, some specialized areas. So there'll be a reading assignment, a book chapter, or some articles. There'll be a lecture online. So you'll hear me talking, you'll see my PowerPoint slides, and then there'll be a quiz on that. And I've given you a short amount of time to take the quiz. The quiz isn't hard, but I, I just, I give you an limited amount of time so that I know that you've done the reading and that you're not kind of hunting through the reading looking for the answers. So that's part three is doing the, the five video lectures and doing the, um, the reading and then, uh, and, and then taking the quiz. Part four of the class is um, the, last, the last four weeks of class, I'm going to give you two major writing assignments. The first one involves choosing a special topic in clinical psychology, and that could be clinical psychology in a specific country. If, you, if you're from Moldova and you want to write about clinical psychology in Moldova, that'd be fine. If you want to write about clinical psychology with a special population, you know, with older adults or with children, or if you want to write about clinical psychology with people who have a specific diagnosis, any of those would be okay. And I'm glad to talk with you about suitable paper topics. Um, so that's one of the two assignments. The second assignment is um, actually asking you to choose a person that from history or from a novel or from a movie, diagnose them and then, and then go through the clinical psychology treatment process that you're going to learn this semester with that person. Write about what you would do to develop a, an assessment, to do a treatment plan, what sorts of interventions you use, that kind of thing. Um, so that's going to be the class that's kind of an overview of the class. Um, I would say there's more writing in this class than in some classes. The reason for that is that normally our, if we have a, uh, a class that's worth um, six European credits, uh, usually that class would meet for about 45 hours, about three hours a week for 15 weeks. Here, we're meeting 10 hours in person. I've got five video lectures. That's sort of like another five hours. I have... Um, some reading for you doing that sort of thing. But to get the required number of hours for a class of, of this many credits, I need to have you do some independent work. Um, and I thought that would be better than, uh, than sitting through even more lectures of mine because uh, you know video lectures online, um, they can, after a while, they can get boring. So I, I think getting to do some of your own research and looking up things that you're interested in will probably be a, a better deal for you. So just remember, when you have a lot of writing in that last part of the class, that's to make up for time that you're not sitting in class. You just need to make sure you're budgeting, budgeting your time well so you've got time to do the writing. I think that's everything I wanted to tell you for now about the class and about the plan for the semester. I know I'm far away and I can't have regular office hours except for that week in Klaipeda. So I hope you'll feel free to email me if you have any questions. Um, my email address is on the syllabus. Also, if you have uh, questions that would be easier to ask in person, um, of course, I'm not there in person, but I'd be glad to Skype with you. I also have WhatsApp, uh, and I'd be fun to talk with you one-on-one -on -one about any questions you have. So I'm really committed to making the class work. I enjoy teaching this way. I'm really glad I get to have at least a week with all of you so we get to know each other a little bit. And just really looking forward to the semester, looking forward to working with all of you. I hope your first few weeks of the semester go well, and I will see you soon. Bye now.